Wake up in the morning with some real strange on my mind. YouTube Devil 92 you back again on once again it's April today we're here for episode number 12 even though that makes four but just imagine the 10s there then it's number 12 over Pokemon Snakewood and Nuzlocke in the last episode you guys we had easily probably the hypest most intense Pokemon battle that we have ever had on the channel I'm not I'm not even gonna talk about what if you missed out on the last episode make sure that you you go back and check it out because you will not be disappointed it left us broken battered we had to rebuild so if you guys are hyped for today's episode of snakewood and of course if you have a problem remember that happy nation make sure you smash the like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated now speaking of rebuilding you guys saw we did have a grinding montage for today's episode and our team even though it is only four members strong has changed a little bit up first we have urza our swallow level 35 i got the entire team up to level 35 holding the energy and talent the power wing attack and peck also rocking quick attack and focus energy up next we have mrs puff the quill shark what i didn't even know quillfish had an evolution in this game but for whatever reason at level 33 quillfish evolved into quill shark which mrs puff it, it does look Anything like that now? I should. I want to call it like basilisk or some shit. I don't even know. It, it. Mrs. Puff has ascended from the last episode, her performance in the last episode until now. Mrs. Puff is absolutely insane. But we have a Quill Shark on the squad now, holding the leftovers, rocking Surf, Headbutt, Poison Sting, and Minimize. Still the OP Minimize. Then next we have Becky, the Loudred, level 35, uh, nice and bold nature, holding the Demon Horn to which Demon Horn I'm pretty sure is just the Quick Claw in the game, but it's rocking Uproar, Jump Kick. For some reason, it learns Jump Kick in this game by level up, Astonish, and Super Sonic. And then last but not least, we have Yondai Mehokage, our secret egg. It was a mystery egg before, then it evolved into a secret egg. 
Is it ever going to hatch? I don't fucking know. But it still has shell armor. That was good. Uh, holding the plus band, which powers up normal type moves like Egg Bomb. But it also now knows Eruption. Why it learned Eruption by level up is beyond me. I'm pretty sure this is the only bug type that can learn Eruption. Can Volcarona learn Eruption? I don't fucking know. But we have a normal bug type that knows Eruption for some reason. Also rocking Leech Life and Soft Boil. So even though our team was broken down and battered, a lot of pleasant surprises still ended up happening. So I, I, don't, I don't even know what we're going to be doing today. I don't know what the course of action is. I don't even remember what he said we were supposed to do next. Uh, but uh, one thing we didn't do is we didn't explore Marvel City too much. So let's go ahead and look around and take a gander. Is there anyone in the bike shop? Can I just steal a bike? It's a handbook on the mock bike. Which page do you want to read? I really don't want to read any of that. Can I just take a mock bike instead? Can I, can I please? Our bike's not a thing in this game anymore. Are we, are we stuck just walking like a... Farmer! <sighs> is this still the game corner? Marvel game corner. Knock knock. No one? Marvel City has just been emptied out. Is there anything even. <laughs> Marvel City has just been emptied out. Oh my god! The zombies came through. But the gym is still here. There's no power in the gym, so the puzzles are gone. Hello? Footman. Got it! These are the badges and TMs that Watson asked us to recover. Uh oh, you're that kid the boss told us to watch out for. Well, I can't have you rescuing Gleese from our base. I'll have to stop you. So they kidnapped Gleese? So at the end of the last episode, I thought Watson and whatchamacallit, they were I thought they were apprehended by the by the police or whatever. He's got himself a home bone. Okay, we need to swap because you are a rock type. Good thing we have a quill shark! On the squad, I kind of wish the back part was a little bit bigger, but oh well. Rock Blast, you can eat that up, Mr. Puff. You can eat that up. Fuck this nigga Hombone. Fuck this nigga Hombone. He wasn't good enough to be the first encounter. No, that was my fault, actually. But still, he wasn't good enough to be the goddamn first encounter. Alright, yeah, you get that HP back. Get your ground rock looking ass out of here. Get your ground rock looking ass out of here. Bye bye. Bye bye, bitch. What else you got? Layron. Oh. Should we high jump kick him? Let's high jump kick the- well, it's not- it's not high jump kick, it's just jump kick. I think it does like- actually, we can check it right now. We can check it right now. It's got 95% accuracy, it does 70 damage, so it's not a high jump kick. Do not- do not anyone, anyone tell you that it's high jump kick. It's just jump kick, goddammit. Oh, what?! How? It's quite effective. How? How? That- that was a crit, that did way too much damage. Oh, never mind, the recoil kill him. You a dumbass. I can see why you're tasked with just going to get shit, you're not actually the one abducting. Whoa, I have to tell my superior officers. Back the fuck up, give me that change. This is bad, they got Gleese, I'll have to rescue him. Hey wait, that footman dropped something. Hello, motherfucker. This will help, now I must save Gleese. I'm pretty sure that's, is it Thunderbolt or Shockwave? Shockwave. Can we teach it anyone? I mean, we have an egg that knows eruption for. Oh my god, Mrs. Puff can learn Shockwave? What? Becky can learn Shockwave as well? Um, let me check on them real quick. I kinda. Because th there's no real reason for me to teach Shockwave to Mrs. Puff. There really isn't any reason for me to teach Mrs. Puff. I mean, we could teach him Shockwave just for GP, I guess, if we really wanted to. Or her, I should say. Just for GP, he really wanted to. I just realized our entire squad is females. We have a little pokey harem going on right now. <laughs> our entire squad is females because the egg doesn't have a gender. So, alrighty then. Uh, I kind of want to, because how much, hold on, let me check. Let me double check. Before I make any moves, let me double check here. Because I know I had to use some soda pops. It does 60 points. And do we not have super potions? I guess we use all our super potions. Super potions are 60 points too. Right? That's by 50 points. Wait, 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 wait. That's $700. This is 300 It restores more and it's cheaper. Oh, wait, I just got a fresh... Oh, wait. This is a zombie liver. So that does 50 Can't eliminate. How much does lemonade do? 80 Oh. It's worth a bit extra. So we have six in the bag now. So I'm gonna get one. God damn it. Two. God damn it! Three, four, five, six, damn it! Seven, eight, 
Nine? That should be that should be fifteen in the bag, right? Right? Yes, we have fifteen in the bag. And how many of these do we have? We have let's get four more lemonades. One, two, three, four. Okay, so my OCD is pleased. It's pl it's pleased. It's pleased. It's pleased. Now, real quick, before we move on, let me rearrange things here for a second so that I'm not stressing in the middle of the battle. Let me get my stuff moved around. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What did we just buy? The zombie livers. Did I do that as well? And then we had our light po- nope. Our light potions. Right there. So we got antidote. Let's get our paralyzed heals up here. Yes, yes. A little organization goes a long, long way. Okay, so the gamble fish, we can swap with uh, awakenings. Max ether, you can slide up top as well. And then everything else should just be chilling here, right? We had a firestone. We had a thunderstone. We have a neverstone. <laughs> we have a neverstone. I love the later generation so much when they actually organize the bags. And I can actually tell everything that's going on because the rest of this is just random items. Okay, so we're good. We are good. We have our team squared away. We have our item squared away. And we did just battle that Hombone. So I wanted to talk about... Oh, well, we can't go north here. Do we talk? Do we speak to this guy? I challenged a troll to a battle, but he was way too powerful. His bag is huge and holds more than six Pokemon. What? What? Okay, all right, so Route 118, we didn't get an encounter here last time because I was like, oh, there's nothing we could do here. But then I realized while we were grinding that we could actually get an encounter in the water. So it depends on what we have here. Because I don't, I don't think we tried to surf here before, Route 118. I mean, there's just Quillfish. Don't tell me it's just going to be Quillfish and Wingle. Come on, I need something. I've never done a Nuzlocke before where all we have, like, I don't have Mons in the PC. Normally when I Nuzlocke a game, I have, I have, I have backup. I have Mons in the PC that I can work with. This time around, we have nothing. We, we don't even have a full party. We have four mods. So can I please get an encounter? I don't think we're going to get anything. But like I was saying, speaking of Hombo with the new mods in the game, uh, while I was on this route, I was grinding. And you guys know our first count on this route was a Vulpix, right? Well, there are there's a Vulpix. There's actually a new mon in the grass here. Not you, Roselia. Not you, you air mattress, Illumise. Illumise? Illumise? I said not you, you air mattress! Roselia, don't be a- I think it's the rare encounter on the route. Because I experienced them during, uh, grinding. But I wanted to show it off, you know, just to let you guys know, hey, here's a new mon. We could have gotten it, but we got the Vulpex instead that just insisted, insisted, on using Roar turn one. Can we, can we, are we just not gonna find it now? Are we, are we, are we being serious? I run into this 7,000 times while grinding, but the moment I sit down to record the actual episode, what happens? There it is. Calf B. I would have loved to have gotten a calf B. That would have been amazing. I mean, I know I said that I wanted to have, uh, a, whatchamacallit, a, 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 a fake mod on my team. I guess we do now have that with Mr. Pup the Quill Shark. And we have the egg for what it's worth. Look at the HP on the egg. God damn. But, uh, still, like, Hombone or Calf B would have been nice to have on the squad. That's a severed head. These chefs were actually a pain in the ass to battle while we were, while we were here. Um, but we can't go this way either, so I really don't know what the hell we're supposed to do next. I really don't know what the hell we're supposed to do or where we're supposed to go because we don't have Rock Smash. We don't have Rock Smash. We have Rock Tomb. We have Cut and Surf. So we can't go that way to... Well, there's nothing that way. Whatchamacallit, Verdant Turf Town has been obliterated, destroyed. We can't go to Famine's Desert because of the rock in the way. Okay. And there's nothing west of here. So, do we go back down south? I don't really understand where we're supposed to go next. Because we don't have the bike, so we can't go on bike path. So, it's not like there's a there's a new cutscene or anything that's going to happen there. So, why did I click that button? That could have been disastrous. So, I really don't know what the hell it is exactly we're supposed to do next. I don't even know how, how are you supposed to get that Charizard. Because there's nowhere, there's no break in the in the path here that will let you get down there. So is this one of those parts in the game where? Oh, hello. Never mind. 
Oh, what should I do? I ought to tell the boss I failed, but I don't want to face her wrath. I guess I'll just stay here. Oh, yeah? Alright, buddy. So I guess we found what we were supposed to do. Guess we found what we are supposed to do. Oh, the crit plus. Hmm, bag is full. Why is our bag constantly full? I don't understand. I don't carry anything. So I, I'm guessing we just, we're just supposed to go back south words towards, uh, no, I made that mistake before. Back south towards Slate Port City and perhaps we'll figure out what to do then. Is there anything here? This is where we got dropped off before, right? There's nothing here. We still can't access that Charizard. There's just a Charizard chilling on the rock. I wouldn't mind having a Charizard on the squad. I wouldn't mind having one of those. I hope there's a part in the game where they give us one of those uh, zombie fake mon starters. Okay, so welcome back to beautiful Slateport City. Hope you enjoy your stay. Because we can't go that way either because of the, the, the currents. So... Is boss lady somewhere around here? That was a Johto water quality sample. Wait, 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 wait. Just to be sure. I really don't know what the fuck we're supposed to do. Like, everywhere we go, we've already gone through. Is there anything here now? It doesn't even let you surf there now. He said he didn't want to go back and face the boss. Where did where did she say she was going before? I don't remember where she said she was she was going to. Because they had that whole interaction, and now apparently Gleese has been kidnapped as well. But I don't know where the fuck we're supposed to go, because everywhere is just the exact same. Uh uh. Uh, uh, I'm panicking. Homeboy is still here, but he doesn't say anything other than... I'll have to tell the boss I failed, but I don't want to face her wrath. I guess I'll just stay here. So where is the boss? Like, she went off towards Verdant Turf Town, but there is no Verdant Turf Town. Oh, wait! We can't come here! Oh! What a blundering idiot I am! God damn! How many of you guys... No, I'm not even gonna ask that question, because all you're just gonna be hipster and say, Oh, I, I knew, I knew. God damn! I don't know what it was. I literally just decided to cut across here just now, because I didn't feel like going through the, the hedge maze of trees, and I just, like a blundering idiot, just stumbled upon this area, and now let's go in. We did come here before. Ugh! You're not that devilishly strong trainer who defeated me in Mallville. Please don't hurt me. Okay. So this is the Island of Calms. So we can get a new encounter here. Wait, 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 wait. Do we have... Yeah, we got... God damn, we got Pokeballs out the ass crack. Attention! If you see a white-haired youth approximately 16 years old, report him to your superiors immediately. Oh, y'all worried about me? Little old me? Little old me? Okay, so our first encounter is... Come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. <sighs> bruh. You gotta cut me some slack. <sighs> Weedle has an extremely acute sense of smell that is capable of distinguishing its favorite kinds of leaves from those it dislikes by sniffing with its big red proboscis. Or its nose. Alright, so it's female, so we can't call it Shino. So we're gonna call it Savage instead. And uh, hope for the best. Our party has increased boy, so much power. It's impish nature, too! Oh! So we can eat up all the wing attacks. This is really not what I needed at this point in time. Is that all that's here? I won't feel like bad if that's all that's here. It's just Weedles. They're curly eight. <laughs> Why? It's level 35, too. It's level 35. It would have fit right in on the party. Oh, my God. 
There are shroomish here. I would have taken a shroomish. We got a goddamn Weedle. I'm sorry. That just hurts. It really fucking hurts. Like, in my chest. I'm having trouble breathing. I don't know what the fuck I was supposed to do with a goddamn Weedle. I get it's gonna become a Beedrill, but... What the fuck are we supposed to do with that? I should've... I should've served. I should've served. I could've got another... Oh, I could've got another Gyarados. Is that all that's in the water? Is it just Magikarps? I... I'm, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm not gonna torture myself like that and see what could've been. <sighs> that just, it hurts my heart so much. That hurt my heart so much. And now we don't even run into fucking Weedles anymore. Why? 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 <sighs> we had a Cascoon earlier. Do not steal berries from the boss's tree. <sighs> heart. Do we really need Cut? Please tell me Weedle can learn Cut. Please tell me Weedle can learn Cut. Please tell me Weedle can learn Cut. It literally serves no purpose. It serves no purpose on the team. It it serves no per it can't even learn cut. <sighs> Hold on, bitch. I'll be right back. I gotta go get my zigzagoon because Weedle can't learn cut. Why it can't learn cut is beyond me. It has a giant horn on its head and it can't learn cut. I'm gonna try and grind that thing up after this episode to level 35, and we're gonna have ourselves a bee drill. And the only thing I can hope and pray is that this bee drill is of some use. That's all I can say. As of right now, until it's a goddamn bee drill, it is no better than Death Fodder. PK Sparks, the Magnemite, ended up as Death Fodder. It's not what I wanted him to be, but this nigga right here, I I I, I really don't care if he ends up as Death Fodder or not. All right, utility. What is this? Hello, Chicky Chicky. Chee! Chicky really seems happier. Doesn't want to fight. Enjoy my party. I would gladly take a Chikorita. I would gladly take a Chikorita at this point. Why doesn't it why doesn't it just join my team? Please. Please. I'm begging at this point. What is this giant mountain in the middle of the woods? Chikorita, I'll be back for you. We need a bike. We have to have a bike. How do you get a goddamn bike? Is someone supposed to give us a bike? Because there was no one at that damn bike shop. There's not a goddamn soul there. And why is that medical kit so far out of the goddamn way? Oh, well, there's another medical kit here. Hello. Let me heal for what it's worth. I will gladly accept that. It's you, the one I've been told to watch out for. Hey. How you doing? Alright, Mr. Inquisition Footman. Why do you keep doing this to me? Yeah, that poison point. How'd I make you feel, horse shit bitch? Die, ho. Yo, Mrs. Puff is a monster now. I love Mrs. Puff. You'll get yours. The Inquisition cannot be stopped. Attention. If you have forgotten the way into the base, please contact one of the advisors in the front rooms for information. Huh. One of the front rooms, you say, huh? Okay, we can't do jack shit over there, never mind. So there's only one door? No, there's more than one door. Wait. Where does this take us? Oh, wow, there's lots of di- Oh, my God. Hello, Archie. <laughs> you look like a thumb just sitting up there. <laughs> you really do. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in through the front door. Oh ho! Something about how to get in, are we? Arr! Well, if you defeat all of us, the Inquisition's Deadly Seven, we might just tell you where the entrance is. Deadly Seven. Okay. Mikov. With your mirror be wannabe ass. Be gone, ho. Be gone, ho. The Deadly Seven, he says. The Deadly Seven. So that's one down. 
What? Well, you caught me by surprise, but it won't beat the others. We seven deadly are tough. Okay. All right. The max elixir. Oh no, we will solve that right now. I will gladly accept this max elixir. What do we get rid of for it though? I don't know what the broken heart does. We can use this. Who wants to level up? Who wants to le level up? I'm gonna level up Mrs. Puff. Mrs. Puff is the new savage of the team. As we have a Pokemon named Savage. Okay. Max Elixir. Oh god, this place looks annoying. And this puts us out nowhere near where we were. And we can't get up there. Alright. So, did this put us out back at the... Yeah, it did. I didn't even know you could get through there. Okay, so we're back at the beginning. Alright. So, I see how this game's gonna go. I will gladly heal the people. No, no, no. I'm glad. Oh, God. It got darker. Ooh. That's spooky. Okay, so that's one of the Deadly Seven taken care of. So, what happens if we go in here? Hey, buddy. The nugget. Oh, hell. We are definitely scooping that up. <sighs> Apparently, this is a guard spec in the regular games. I don't know. I never use guard spec. Uh, Neverstone would be nice to hold on to, but TBH. I don't really see us ever using it, so... Toss! Sorry, Mr. Neverstone. Nugget, I will sell that shit in a heartbeat. I am the second of the Diddly Seven! You may, if so inclined, revere me! As Sadie's going ham in the background here with her toys. I can't. I just can't find the heart to, like, stop her, because she's... Like, you know, you ever have one of those moments where you just sit and you just get lost with yourself, and you're just playing games or whatever? Not even playing games, like, you just find, like, a string or something, you just go crazy. You're not all cats, that's not what I'm saying, but you get what I'm saying, like, she's just entertaining herself, and it's just like, you just do you, you just do you, you just do you. And I used to feel bad, like, when, I, I remember, like, a year ago, she used to play, and I used to get mad and throw a toy out of the room, and she'd chase after it. I just don't do it anymore. If she wants to squeak and make noise in the background, fine, let her squeak and make noise. She's just being, she's just having fun. Curse that spoiled. Grr. Grr. What? Grr. You caught me by surprise, but you won't beat the others. We deadly seven are tough. Well, you and the first one have not been too terribly tough. Is this really what's going to happen? Each time we have to come out this goddamn hole? I'm catching on to your game here. My thing is, without the bike, can we actually get to all seven of them? There are Jigglypuffs here! Jigglypuffs the rare encounter. Why couldn't I not have gotten that? Why did I get a fucking Weedle? I don't understand what I did to deserve a goddamn Weedle. Oh, Jesus. So that's three, four, and that's five, six, seven. Oh, jeez. Oh, that looks disgusting. That looks terribly disgusting. There's eight holes here. Ooh, that's what she said. Oh. Oh. That. Oh. Oh, this is with me. I don't like it. I don't like looking at it. I don't like looking at it. Hello, who are you? You just let me walk past you? It is I, the third of the Deadly Seven, Norg. Your winning streak ends here. Uh, at least we're doing them in order. What the hell? Kenchira. Oh, well, that nigga got blown back. Gunkov. You are trash, buddy. What? Uh, you caught me by surprise, but you won't beat the others. We sell it to Deadly Seven. And whatever. Whatever. I don't, I don't give a fuck. This puts us out here. So I'm guessing... It's gonna default out to that. There we go. Okay, so we have three of the seven defeated. Three of the seven defeated. <sighs> I would have loved to have had a Ralts. A Gardevoir on the squad would have been so amazing. It would have been so amazing. We had a fucking Weedle instead. I just can't I just can't get over that. I won't get over it. I refuse to let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Are you number uh number four? No, ha, ha You'd be right. I'm thinking I'm the fourth of the Deadly Seven. Re ready your wallet because you're going down. He read my mind. How did he know? I was thinking he was number four. How did he know? Karkov. Trapinch. Hello, Mr. Trapinch. Goodbye, Mr. Trapinch. Get fucked. <laughs> Everyone is so tough. Everyone is so terribly tough. So that was number four. So we have three left. Three left to go. Excuse me, Mr. Fuck off. I threw away that repel earlier too, didn't I? I need to drop off some of these uh, some of these items in the PC next time we get to the uh, Pokemon Center, because like all the different stones and stuff, we don't need it in our bag ready to go at all times. Oh shit, we can even get up here. Hello, oh, 
More holes to choose from. God damn. What hole do we slide into? Are you number five? Of course, who else? You're that meddling brat. Well, as I, the fifth member of the Deadly Seven, will soon put a stop to this. All right. Blown back. You are not the Deadly Seven. There's nothing about you that's deadly. Nothing at all. Are you number? Are you number six? The sixth member of the group known as the Deadly Seven has a pro pro propens propensity for t talking about himself in the third person. Okay, Mr. Beldum, are you gonna, are you gonna use takedown? All right, Mr. Beldum, you gonna use take? Never mind. Rolf. I would love. I would love. Let me let me let me say it again. I would love to have a Beldum on my team. I'd love to have a Beldum on my team. Okay, so where is so that was he was number six. So that should mean that there's only one left. One more member of the Deadly Seven to go after. And this is gonna put his back. Oh he's right here. Please leave me. I'm writing a haiku. What? 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 Where is the seventh member then? There's a shit ton of other holes to look through. But I think right here, right now, as flabbergasted as I am, is a good enough time as I to go ahead and wrap up today's episode. In the next episode, we will find the seventh and final member of the Deadly Seven and hopefully find the entrance to the Inquisition base. I guess. If you guys enjoyed today's episode of Snakewood, and of course, if you're a proud member of the Nappy Nation, make sure you smash the like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. But with that, I'm gonna get a pound. Thank you all once again for your support, and thank you for checking out the video. We out this bitch. Bye!